Hello, welcome back to another video. This time we're filming on my girlfriend's uh, character today, just simply so that we can do this video. This is to showcase one of the new rewards that you can get from the hunt marks when you are level 100 and have finished the MSQ. The reason that the MSQ is required is because there is a plus quest in the starting city of the expansion that basically unlocks uh, more items to the vendor as you finish the storyline. So you need to be level 100 and you need to have finished that storyline, uh, you know, and the plus quest to unlock these items. And once you have, obviously it unlocks the final rewards of, you know, being, being able to do the top tier hunts and things like that. So obviously this video features that first city. So if you don't want to watch this, please don't watch any more of it. But I think that's fairly self-explanatory from, you know, the premise of this idea of, for a video. And of course, we're looking at a mount specifically today. So with that being said, then we are, of course, in Tulialal. And Fran's character has unlocked the final part of that. She's got through the MSQ and has got to level 100. If we go to Tulialal's hunt vendor, you'll see right at the top there, brand new item. The only other item we haven't looked at because we've looked at the other items uh, so far, I believe, apart from the striking dummy, uh, we've got the automa automatoise, automatoise, right? Sorry, uh, for 3,200 sacks of nuts. Now, these sacks of nuts can be acquired from any uh, hunt that requires, uh, you know, that would give you sacks of nuts. So, include Shadowbringers, Endwalker, and Dawn Trail. So, you can go and do your hunt trains for your fellow pap or whatever it might be with other groups of people around the world and uh, hop servers and things and make use of the multiple instances per zone as well that's another good thing to uh, to make the most out of and of course this is the automa automatoise if i could speak properly so let's go look at this somewhere where it's um you know nice and day and what better place to look at this other than the sunrise of my favorite zone in the game thanks to the graphics update it looks even better the Azim step. So this then is the Automatoise. It says, Summon Thorf your Automatoise, a weapon of war developed in Orogenics. A weapon of war developed in Orogenics, this giant tortoise has been augmented with a reinforced electrope skeleton and servo motors in order to enhance defense and strength. As the underlying creature is ordinarily mild-mannered, it is infused with the soul of a savage predator to lend it ferocity at the onset of battle. The hidden text on this mount says, that strikes me as a rather cautious thing to be researching, but to each to their own, I suppose. A quote there of the knowledgeable Laporit. So the mount in question then looks like this, which looks pretty awesome. And there's the desummon sound as well. Yeah, if you're familiar with the Adamantois uh, mount, this is basically a reskin of that. In fact, you could literally see the original mount underneath there. But what they've done is they've put this amazing cybernetic armor on the top of it. It looks absolutely fantastic. You might have seen people flying around in this already. Again, 3,200 nuts isn't that hard to get, especially with the hunt trains and, like I say, those multiple instances per zone. What a fantastic mount. And, of course, comes with all of those lovely texture updates for the base model, as well as, uh, obviously, this armored version. It's got these two rocket motors on the back there, which looks absolutely awesome. And this neon decal here uh, with, of course, the big helmet that most of you have seen. Every time I see this helmet, I just think of Daft Punk or, like, um, oh, uh, what's it called? What's that show where they killed everybody? That famous Korean show, one of those helmets, you'll know what I mean. I've drawn a blank and your character sits on the top, as you can see with Fran here sitting on top of this beautiful chrome silver plated thing here. So obviously as we're walking around, it's got your stompy noises with clattery noises now as well, which is great. And of course, as we take to the air, it spins. So a few people... <laughs> In the past, complained about the uh, Adamantois mount simply because of its spinning, making them feel a little bit nauseous. And I'll have to be honest with you, just looking at this and turning my camera is actually making me feel a little bit nauseous. So I'll try not to turn the camera as much as I usually do. Uh, as you obviously push forward, we're using a, a controller here to, to showcase this. 
Obviously, we've got this purple smoke erupting out of the engines. It seems like the most impractical way for this to fly. But again, here we go. Again, with another spinning mount. It just looks insane, doesn't it? If you saw this coming, you'd be like, what on earth is that? And then you realize once it lands that it's a adamantoise with a metallic exoskeleton oh it's actually a little bit horrible isn't it <laughs> it's a little bit horrible it, you know in terms of its animations i don't know if, if you're like me but something spinning repeatedly not my massive cup of tea let's be perfectly honest let's see underwater will no doubt be exactly the same animation but uh you never know right you never know it's a cool mount but it's certainly something that's not necessarily at the top of my wish list which is also why i was like let's let's uh, let's film fran's character she was you know in the room with me staring at me right now uh, as i'm saying i don't like this but i don't think fran really likes the spinning animation either <laughs> so i had to film this honestly it's a great great mount but oh it's a lot better like that isn't it i think in terrestrial form i appreciate it a lot more than I do when it flies. Absolutely amazing. In terms of its mount music, then I think a lot of you will probably already know where this is going. Generic mount music, yeah. So, I mean, I don't, I'm not really sure what music they could have probably picked for this other than that. I don't necessarily mind the generic mount music on mounts like this because they're not thematically designed after a zone or anything like that. But it, again, again, it would have been nice to have something slightly different rather than just the same music. But yeah, if you see this walking around, now you know exactly where it is from. Um, and obviously, the text has a bit of a spoilery stuff in it. And of course, the, um, you know, the thumbnail should be fine with just the mount on it because it doesn't really necessarily spoil things but uh i had to put spoiler warnings on that one yeah really cool mount honestly i can't wait to see what else they do in this expansion the texture quality of these things now is just well it's ridiculous isn't it it looks so much better like with a shining and luminosity and extra details and moss looking like moss and metal looking like metal what a fantastic addition anyway let me know if you've got this one yet if this is on your list or if you like me Get a little bit nauseous just at the thought of seeing that. And I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> Fred, Fred's wave is spinning. Ah, save me! <laughs> so, Fran, what do you think about the spinning animation? Just as nauseating as the first one. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it looks cool. I, I just wish maybe instead of it spinning, it would just rocket power like it does because it's just got the, like rocket engines i wish it would just be like static or maybe have an option to turn off the spinning because it is very nauseating 